Okay, so we're going to have a try at the nuke strategy here. For those of you guys who are struggling against Kid Buu, um, even with like the AGL Goku, which I mean, his team is good here. But of course, once you get into Int Kid Buu and Int Kid Buu starts building up his attack, um, it becomes very difficult for Goku to survive as his damage reduction is running out. Now, the thing with this is that we do have to get pretty much like perfect starting rotations. Um, and of course, with limited attempts per day, it can be kind of risky if you're um, if you are trying this out, right? If you haven't been able to beat the stage uh, with the limited attempts and everything. But we're going to give it a go and see Let's how we get this. on. Um, okay, we got a triple Super Saiyan 3 Goku rotation. We didn't get the two Gohans together, which is what we want. But we could still be fine. Because basically what we want to do... The starting rotation is really what we want in terms of doing the big damage. Because we are going to have AGL Super Saiyan 3 Super Easy A Goku in slot 1. And we're going to use one of the orb changing items. Then we're going to have the friend who is Rainbow Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku in slot 2. And we're going to use the other orb changing item. And between the two of them, they're going to do an insane amount of damage. Um, and then of course the other Super Saiyan 3 Goku in slot 3 is no slouch either. So, the problem is it all depends on the orb change. Okay, so that's pretty good. So that can give us seven AGL orbs, and that's five. So we'll do that. And then it just depends how good this one is. Okay, not bad. Not crazy, but not, you know. And then we'll do this. All right. So this should be a lot of damage. <laughs> and of course, the Super Saiyan 3 Super Easy A Goku has decent amount of dodge pre-Super, which is why we put him in slot 1. Because uh, we want the Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku in slot 2, because that's where he gets all of his bonus attack. Um, yeah, see, Super Easy A Goku only did one Super as well, which is really annoying. If he gets the additionals, then you're all good. But, but yeah, look at that. The first Super is 17 million. And in slot 2... Uh, Angel Goku gets a guaranteed additional super. So, up to 18.6. And then 20. Can he get another one? The hidden potential? I think he might be able to. Okay, he didn't. And then 14 million for Dragon Fist Goku. Okay. Who gets a double super as well. <laughs> Alright, so he made up for Super Easy A Goku not getting an additional super. That's fine. Um, okay, well. Um, so we didn't get the Tech Ulma Gohan. On, but now we can put AGL LR Ulma Gohan in slot 1. Because we still want to have the Angel Super Saiyan 3 Goku in slot 2. So that he can get his attack buff. Um... Oh, he can use his active skill because the enemy's on low HP already. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll just do that. <laughs> Turn one instantly appears. Active skill. Hasn't had any build up, so. In terms of damage, I'm not expecting anything crazy. But... You can't beat me. Alright, so we do that. And then we can put you there. Uh, I mean, we just won anyway, but what I can do here is if I give you these, you won't get a super from those, but you'll get a guaranteed additional from being in slot two anyway. And then we can get all the orbs for Kefla. So there we go. That'll be it for Kid Buu, it seems. Um, I don't think Gohan will actually finish him off here because he doesn't get the extra attacks because the enemy was on low HP. But the 70% chance super from his passive converts. So I think he just kills him. And then if he doesn't, Goku does. We didn't even need Kefla. So there you go. We didn't actually get the perfect starting rotations. But, I mean, if you get those Super Saiyan 3 Gokus all together, there you go. So imagine, like, <laughs> imagine just beating him like that. Because that would complete the Power Beyond Super Saiyan mission as well. Because we had the Super Saiyan 3 Gokus. So, yeah, there you go. If you get the right luck and you get the right starting rotations, you can just nuke Kid Buu. Um, and kill him before the int phase. Like, imagine waiting for this last stage to come out and then getting just the right RNG 
where you could just like nuke him by accident essentially and then you'd think that was it you just beat one phase of an str kid boo and you'd be like oh was that it but yeah there you go so that is the nuking kid boo killing him in two turns as you can see we set a new best time because we didn't have to do the int phase at all so <laughs> three minutes 48 to uh, take out red zone kid boo um very very good so yeah, that's the nuke strategy. Um, I knew this was good, would end up being a short video, so I haven't used my tickets that we've got from doing all of the red zone missions. So we'll go ahead and do those here. See if we can get anything interesting. I don't know if there's really anything on this banner that I even need particularly, but we'll go ahead and do these. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys got anything good out of these tickets. Um, I've seen a couple of people say that they pulled copies of the LR go ten and trunks but unfortunately they easy aid quite a while ago and are not really particularly good anymore so it's a bit of a shame but of course the tickets don't guarantee you anything not even an ssr so the typical red zone ticket seven sr multi there random virus appearance but you I mean you can't even get a weiss animation on this uh banner so Virus being there doesn't mean anything at all. Really, we're looking out for any of the rotation, uh, any of the animations that will mean that we're actually getting an SSR. Because, um, yeah, otherwise we just keep doing this and getting seven SRs. <laughs> I mean, it's extra barber points, I guess, but, you know. Oh, four characters is an SSR, I believe. So we are at least getting an SSR now. So who is it going to be? I don't think I need anyone from the banner anyway, realistically, but... Anyone good? Ah, oh, Tech Vegito. Nice. I mean, his EZA was pretty decent when it first came out. Obviously, he's uh, pretty outdated at this point, but... I oh, mean, I wish Piccolo and 17 was a combo. That fight's so good. Good old Cell Saga. But yeah, do we, are we really going to get one SSR out of uh, all of those multis? Potentially. Well, GG, Red Zone Tickets. You love to see it. But <laughs> there you go. So that was the uh, nuking strategy for Kid Buu Red Zone. Um, obviously, if you don't have the AGL Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, it becomes much more difficult. Um, I'm not sure which who the best lead would be to run. I mean, you could run, like, the Boo Duo, um, not the Boo Duo, um, the STR Vegito, like Goku Vegeta, and run a friend Super Easy A Goku and still, uh, a friend Angel Goku, and still basically be able to run this team, right? You wouldn't be able to run Kefla, but that's fine. Um, I guess you wouldn't be able to run the Dragon Fist Goku under their lead either, but, but yeah, obviously it's a, it's a difficult strategy to do, but if you get the right orb change as well, because obviously we could have got a much better orb change and gotten way more orbs both times, which would have then meant increased damage. So you might even get a really good starting rotation and then get terrible RNG on the orb changing. So it is a risky strategy because it is a limited attempts per day banner, but um, event even, but you know, you can get it done. We did it here. We did it first try, so... If you guys are having trouble with the stage, give that a try. See if you get it done. Let me know down below in the comment section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Masked Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.